Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to Serbia's selection for Eurovision 2020. You guys have been talking about this song like crazy, so I am really excited to get into this. I don't know what I'm really about to be getting into. It is a gloomy day here in Stockholm, Sweden, but of course it's bright and sunny here with me and you. Yes, I am so excited to be in Stockholm, Sweden for Melody Festival. And I'm gonna be talking to some of your favorite Melfest artists and hopefully some Eurovision 2020 artists as well too. So definitely make sure you are liking and subscribing to all of my content because I know you don't wanna miss a thing. Thank you in advance. You don't understand, like I so appreciate every single comment, every single like, every single subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. From Washington DC. Music can be feeling and fireworks. I got a new video. I got a new video. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. You know it. I made it. Hey. Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm ready to go. Eurovision fam, are you ready for the show? <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is a banger. <laughs> Literally starting off with a bang. Okay, I love a little girl group moment. Okay. Well, first of all, I love this styling and I love that they're coordinated. Oh, oh, my girl Sonya, I love her. Okay, this is our chorus. Okay, I'm sorry, this is like slightly assaulting. I, <laughs> this is a lot, it's really early in the morning, maybe too early for this. Okay, what is happening with this vocal? There's a lot going on and I think we need some backing singers. They all look styled really well. <laughs> oh my god. There's so much happening right now. I I, I hate like I'm waiting for a moment where I can come down, but okay, it's not happening. Okay, and we have some dancers come out. We don't need dancers, we need some backing vocalists. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. I appreciate this dancing. Okay, breakdown. Hey, what? Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. This really is gonna be Just Dance Eurovision 2020. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. There is so much going on. Okay, Sonya brought it home for us. Oh my God, that was a lot. Um, um, okay. <laughs> okay, y'all did not prepare me enough for that. I don't think that I should have reacted to this this early in the morning. And I don't drink coffee. First of all, 
Okay, let me start this off by saying I love me some Sonya. I still sing that song from 2016. I literally sung it last week because I was working on what my karaoke tracks would be this week while I'm at Melody Festival. <laughs> so I love a little girl group moment. Hello, Danity Kane. Hello, 3LW. Hello, Pussycat Dolls. So I love a girl group moment. This girl group moment is a lot. You wanna talk about being assaulted by sounds? I felt very assaulted by sounds. <laughs> there is nothing boring about this. There is nothing bathroom break about this. This is a lot. It is a full performance. And honestly, I don't really know how I completely feel about it. I feel like everyone in the fandom was really liking this song. And I feel torn because although I think I could maybe get into the studio cut of this because I love a girl group moment, this live performance was a lot. It was an assault of sounds. There was, there were definitely some vocal issues. I don't know if I so much heard, like there were moments where people were flat. I didn't hear any sharp moments, but there were definitely some moments where people were flat. Uh, there were definitely some moments where their vocals were not in sync. And that's the thing, when you are in a group, part of the key of being in a group is really the singing together. This kind of seemed like three solo vocalists singing together at moments. At moments, it didn't seem coordinated enough where it was really a blend of sounds. That's why it felt assaulting at times because it just was, it was a lot. There was a lot going on visually, but more importantly, sonically, there was a lot coming at me. Just a lot coming at me. Let's talk about the styling. The styling is great. I actually think we could keep these outfits at Eurovision. I'm sure that they have some other iterations of this outfit, but I like the clear reflective glass and the bodysuits. I like the fact that they're coordinated but not the exact same look. The makeup looked good. The faces were beat to the gods and the heavens, bowing down, so they looked great. To go back to the song, I mean, obviously there's nothing groundbreaking about this song or anything. It's cute, we've got kind of an ethno-pop flair to it. I, I think it is assaulting in a way that this will stand out. There's no way that you are going to forget what Serbia is offering us this year. This is not a forgettable performance by any means. How do I think this ultimately will perform at Eurovision? I mean, because it is so unforgettable, I would not be surprised if this did end up in the final. This performance is in semi-final two that people are kind of saying is the weaker semi, but I don't know if we can really make that judgment until we get all the songs. But I but I do think that, that this could definitely end up in the final. And as of now, I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. But I would be lying if I said that they didn't have some work to do. And the work that they're gonna have to do is really just figuring out how to blend. And I have to say, having the two dancers come out didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Because one, I did feel like they were singing to a track. So that might have also contributed to kind of the assault of sounds. They definitely seemed like they were singing to a track as opposed to singing to just a backing track with some background singers. Because we don't need the other dancers. We really, really don't. We could do the projections in the background where they have the other dancers kind of like the silhouettes of people dancing in the background. I think that that works. I don't think we need to backing dancers, but we might need some backing vocalists because these girls are doing a lot on stage. They are moving around a lot. So I don't think that it would be a bad idea just to go on and have the backing singers just be um, backing singers as opposed to backing dancers. Now, if you could find some people who can sing and dance at the same time, I mean, go on and go for it. I, I would not be mad at you. But I think because we have our girls doing so much in the forefront, I would just go on and have some backing singers that can literally just in the background focus on singing. Just focus on singing and sustaining that vocal throughout. Cause this was a lot. Well, what do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with what I had to say? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree with what I had to say? 
talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know it, I am so excited for Eurovision 2020. Don't forget to like and to subscribe because I got more content coming for you. <laughs> Bye.